Hi, I'm Luke. I'm Kyle. And we're the Jerry Nil. And you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with the Jerry Nil. How are you? Hey. We're fantastic. Yeah, we're great. I'm glad to hear it. We're now here at Riot Fest. You're also doing a fall tour relatively soon. So, are you guys looking forward to it? What are you looking forward to the most regarding that? Uh, I mean, it's just always fun to go on tour. Like, the, America's, uh, it's been very nice to us and we just like traveling it. So, um, I'm excited to go to New York City again. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. I love New York City. I New York City in the fall. I wish we were going out west, but uh, that'll be fun. I think Soon the, again. The fest will be a lot of fun. Which other cities would you look forward to playing? Because I know you mentioned going out west. Yeah. Oh, Philadelphia? Yeah. Philadelphia rules? Yeah, we got a lot of friends in Philly, so I'm excited for that show. Uh, Chicago as well will be a lot of fun. Cool. Chai City. <laughs> Chai City. Chai City? Excellent Mexican food there. Yes. Horchata. Horchata. <laughs> Horchata. But being that we're at Riot Fest, Riot being the key word here. Yes. What's one of the crazier moments that has happened at a Journey Nil show that you could share with our viewers? Someone has, someone has fainted before. <laughs> Kyle and Stewart. Someone has fainted before. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, a long time ago it was our friend's birthday, and she jumped on our other friend's back, and he flipped her over his head, and like ended up pile driving her into the ground, and the ambulance got called and everything. But oh, she no. was fine. It was just a really intense, drunk, dumb moment oh, that happened. Wonderful. So, I, great I cut my head open. Oh yeah, and the set open. How'd that happen? Guitar hit me in the head. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Very rock star. My, my, own, my own doing, but uh, it's a good time. I mean, yeah. I would certainly do it again if I could. Yeah, I guess, and then I would drive him to the hospital. <laughs> that's what I do. That's, that's what goes on. I know you released a new single recently called No yes. Weaknesses. So just tell us a little bit about the new song and... Uh, what can I tell you? Yeah, whatever you want. Lay it uh, in. It's a, it's a very fun song to play. It's a. Uh, I have very fond memories of us uh, making it. Yeah. Um. It's a just a. It's like the biggest dumbest rock song that we could do at this current <laughs> moment. The stupidest one. So I mean, we just uh, put our heads down and and ran at the wall, didn't we, Kyle? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. No pretty fucking much. weaknesses, Kyle. None. Two penises. <laughs> well, I know you released a few EPs in the past, singles, but is there actually yes. a record? Yes, in the there's a record coming out. There is. Yes. Yeah. Tell us a bit about that. Well, it's 11 songs. All right. Uh, it, uh, let's see. What else can I tell you about it? It's got a lot of guitar feedback on it. Yeah. Uh, uh, it'll come out in early 2016, maybe February. We haven't set a date yet, but that'll be soon. Uh, we're just really happy with it, so I hope everyone enjoys it. That's awesome. Well, I know that one of your prior EPs you released on a special 10-inch, which you actually did a couple times on different colors. So are you vinyl enthusiasts yourselves? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Dave especially is. He works at a record store and, like, prices records and things like that, so that's his realm entirely. Uh, Dave is the vinyl uh, creative wing of the nil, yeah. and a fantastic job he does. And what are some of your favorite records that you own on vinyl? Uh, I have the first Death, Death Grips record that I picked up, which is nice. I have a Kanye West Yeezus bootleg as well, <laughs> which is I'm happy to have. Um, is there anything else? I don't know. I have a super fucking fuzzy copy of uh, Bo Diddley's first record, and that rips. But also, the 1997 remaster of Raw Power oh, yeah. is probably the thing that makes me happiest in the world. <laughs> so, turn it up. Yeah, it it's it's really fucking loud. Sometimes, actually, I've played it so that there's a part in it where the needle hopped out yeah, for me. Yeah, <laughs> So when I was using a cheaper record player, but yeah. You mentioned you're playing it really loud there. What are some What are some of your favorite other records that you just like turn to eleven and just go crazy with? Uh, Psycho Candy, Good Kid, Mad okay. City, Kick uh, Out the Jams. Yeah, Kick Out the Jams. Uh, goat. By the oh, Jesus Goats. Lizard. Yeah, Goats sounds a fantastic really loud uh, man records the men crank those guys uh, stuff like that alright cool yeah. yeah really really simple old uh, proto rock and roll is just sounds fantastic on a dirty record player so yeah. awesome plus the rain is starting to come down a little yes. us. Yeah, we're gonna wrap this up uh, just everyone watching for all your fans will be viewing this what would you like to tell them 
Thank you very much for listening to our band. And we hope to play in front of you very shortly. Yeah. Get stoked. We have a record coming out. Yeah. Jesus, people. We love you all. Thank you. <laughs> that wraps it all up. And just thank you so much for your time today. Our yeah. pleasure. Thank we you. appreciate thank it. You. Thanks so much. And remember, everyone, you can visit us at amusicblogia.com for all sorts of interviews, videos, much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>